This is a video on expected value and standard deviation. The question states, 20% of the customers who come to a cell phone store purchase the $40 monthly plan, 10% purchase the $60 monthly plan, and the rest leave without making a purchase. Find the expected value and the standard deviation. So we start by creating a probability distribution table, like so. So for the x values, we had a $40 purchase, a $60 monthly purchase, and the ones that didn't purchase plan at all, that's a $0 monthly purchase. The probabilities for those, well, there was 20% purchased the $40 plan, so that's 0.2 for the $40 plan. 10% for the $60 plan, so that's 0.1 for the $60 plan. And that totals up to 30%, and what's left is 70% didn't purchase anything, and that's a zero corresponds to 70%. So now I'm going to enter this into my TI-84 calculator. So here's the TI-84 calculator, and what I'm going to do is hit the Stat button, and then Edit. And I'm going to need both list 1 and list 2 since we have two rows here. So I'm going to go to list 1 and clear list 1. And then I'm going to go to list 2 and clear list 2. Now that they're cleared out, I can enter the data. So for list 1, I type in 40 then 60, and then 0. And list 2 contains the probabilities. So list 2 has 0.2, then 0.1, and then 0.7. So remember, list 1 is contains the x values, or the outcome values and list 2 contains the probabilities of those outcomes occurring. So now I go to STAT, and then CALC, one variable STATS, and then I'm going to type in second L1, so that's second one to get to L1, and then comma, comma's right here, under the sign, and then second, L2, which is second 2, then I hit enter. So I'm interested in the expected value and the standard deviation. The expected value for the calculator is x bar, and that's 14. And the standard deviation, that's a sigma x, and that's 22. So let's get back to the question screen. And let's recall that the calculator gave us the expected value which really we call mu, is 14. And the standard deviation, which we call sigma, is 22. So now let's just interpret the expected value. What we can say is that if many, many customers come into the cell phone store, then it is very likely that their average purchase will be very close to $14 per customer. And I'm done with the problem.